Hey YouTube, it's DLouis007, and today I bring great news. Found a way to get PC SXR to run online. So, first thing you want to do is, in the description, I have two links to download the zip folder. And then unzip it, just double click it, and it gets you this folder, PC SXR line. So open that up. This icon, drag to your applications folder. And then this one, just open it up and put it in your library folder. But first to do that, open up Finder, click go, Oops. go to folder, and then type in squiggly line, whatever it's called, forward slash library. Library. Go. So then it opens up your library folder in your home folder, which Apple apparently hides. So from there, go to application support, and then whatever, just drag. Oops, folder's gone. Right. So just drag this folder, and just drag it in here. Now, a lot of you had problems with the BIOS, so I've included BIOS from every region. So hopefully, this would solve your problems with the BIOS not working. Memory cards are the same. Patches, nothing really in there, and save state, nothing in there. So, first thing is let's fire up PC SXR. Preferences. So far, I've figured out nothing needs to be touched here. Plugins, everything is the same. Soft GL driver needs to be checked. SDL sound needs to be checked. CD ROM reader and GameAd. Gamepad, keyboard, mouse, input. So you configure this to your liking. For me, I found it easier to use a PlayStation 3 controller. If you have one, you just use it with a USB, the USB um, wire that it comes with, or you can set it up as Bluetooth, which I haven't figured that out yet. For some reason, it's not working for me. So I just plug it in to the USB on the computer. And then it should open up here. I probably need to close it. And then yeah, PlayStation 3 controller. And you just set it up as you as you want. So D-pad up, just double click it up. Well, it's already set up for me, so I'm not gonna mess with that. So everything's the same. Memory card, do not touch. Everything's the same here. All right, so let's test it out. So go to file. So over here it gives you the option to run CD or run ISO. I shall run ISO because I have my ISOs in the desktop over here. So let's see desktop. We shall test Digimon World 2. I'm going to open up the image file. Now one bug I have figured out on this one is if you try to full screen it with the this it lags and freezes. So if you want to full screen it just go to Windows and full screen. I'll just show you. Yeah, see it freezes. So you don't want to do that. You just go to Windows and then full screen. And it full screens for you and it's fine. So let's see, get it to work. See my controller's not working. Alright, so everything works fine, it seems. Mm, try to get it to work. Let's see if we can get it to work. Controller's not working. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get this to work now. Alright, so image. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load up. So I've got it to work now. Seems to work fine. No saving. I haven't found. Uh, haven't figured out a way for it to work with your previous PC SXR. So I might have to start over in your games and stuff. Sorry about that, but it seems to be working fine for line. 
So everything seems to work. So that's pretty much it on this. I might do another video just in case it doesn't work. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Um, I have a Facebook page. You can like that for like updates and stuff. And I have a Twitter account, which I'll put both of them in the description. So yeah, just comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.